Hey, what's up? David Wood here once again for DavidWoodFX.blogspot.com with a, another variation of my loading bar tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I will be creating an underwater effect. And uh, it's going to look pretty cool. Instead of sparks, we'll have bubbles floating up. And we'll probably add some uh, turbulent displace so it kind of looks wavy and as if it was underwater. But uh, first, a quick uh, fix for my last tutorial. The reason that you see here that the sparks and lens flare are further away from it is because our linear wipe, if we go back here to the first frame, it's set up at 100%. And this is creating a problem because our bar does not go all the way across. That's why there's that gap there. So what we need to do is come back to the beginning and we need to set this a little bit lower. So I found about 96% works well because if we go with not if we go with 95 there's a little tiny bit of that bar left. So 96 we'll get rid of that. And so now as we move forward you can see that our sparks and lens flare stay directly in front of that. The same with at the end. At the very end, it does not need to be 100%, about 5%, or it doesn't have to be 0. 5% will work fine for that. Um, just like that. And actually, if we move that down to maybe 4, there's no difference in it. So. Five works fine for that. Okay, so on with the rest of the tutorial. Um, we don't need this composition. We are going to go back into our bar two and uh, find that in the projects and drag that into a new comp. And we'll name this one Final Underwater. Okay, um, I'm going to go back into the bar and find the linear wipe effect and copy that onto this one so I don't have to go through that control V there we go so if I hit you there we have our keyframes and everything in except uh, for some reason it's backwards it didn't include the wipe angle so I'll just have to go negative 90 and we're back on track. Okay. Um, first thing, this bar looks pretty cool. Um, I have a picture here. Let's find it. Uh, this one. I found this on Stock Exchange. And it's just a basic underwater photo. Not too much to it. That looks good and all you have to do is take the bar and you can just change the blend mode simply to overlay and that will affect it quite a bit that looks cool and then you could even duplicate it again get a little bit brighter uh, we don't actually have to add a color correction so that can be a time saver um, for the bubbles let's see okay so uh, we'll create a new solid and I'm just going to make a green and then go to effect simulation foam and foam is just our basic bubble maker you can see the preview there of what they look like uh, we can go in the uh, producer settings and play with the size and stuff uh, we have to go into the physics first and Let's see. Wind direction to zero. Wind speed to zero. Initial speed. We want that to go up. We want the bubbles to go upward. So we increase that. And then we can um, production rate. That's fine for right now. And uh, we'll just adjust the emitter settings 
So uh, come over here, bring that down. And we can zoom in there as well. Just so we get an effect of or an idea of where that bubble is. Okay, right about there looks fine. Uh, we can set a keyframe for that. Uh, U and U. Come on. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Alright, we'll move that keyframe back here to the beginning. And then go forward. And set one along the X, just like so. And then over here to the end. Now the bubbles are going to go crazy. Okay, so uh, once again, we can bring up our production rate and our producer settings and alt click on the stopwatch for the production rate click the pick whip and drag up to that and at the end erase it and put dot speed times point zero 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 eight should work fun fine for that okay might be a little too soft or not have enough. If we come back in here, see there's just a couple little ones flying around. And even when it hits there, it still only has a couple. So we'll go ahead and adjust the speed of that. Uh, like so should work. Okay. There we go. Just like that. And then they'll float on up and away. Uh, then we need to go into our view and change it from draft to rendered. And this is where you can add the textures to the bubbles. Uh, go down into the rendering and uh, blend mode is transparent. That's what we want. Bubble type, uh, default bubble, we want to change that to something more appropriate. So we can go through these. Um, bubble wrap looks pretty good. Uh, then you can just uh, change the opacity or change the blend mode. So setting it as a screen works well. Also, you know, bringing down the opacity works too. Uh, we can try a couple others. Uh, we certainly don't want some of these because they give us really, really weird colors. Uh, there's another one that works pretty well is water beads and set that to screen again. Uh, spit works well. This one actually I think looks the best. Uh, for this case, uh, change the blend mode. Uh, you can set the blend mode to overlay and then you can just duplicate that layer to bring the effect out a little bit more. And actually the second one, just lower the opacity on that. And um, that's pretty much it. Uh, we can add a new adjustment layer, and on this we can go to Effect, Distort, Turbulent Displace, Alt-click on the Evolution, and write Time times uh, 100. Actually, let's make that 200. Okay, so uh, as you can see, that's really distorting it quite a bit. So what we have to do is turn down the amount to, say, um, roughly 25, and then bring the size down also to about 50, and there you have it. And uh, so that's about it for this tutorial. You can continue fooling around with the settings and get a pretty cool result. All the other information on the text and everything is in the other tutorial. So. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching. This is David Wood, David Wood FX, and I'll see you guys next time.